Galaxy tabs take flight, virtual shopping with an Xbox 360, and Olympic-sized recycling. It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tech Life on Tekka TV. I'm your host, Ashley Skeva. Joining me, as always, the delightful Barb Dickwad. <laughs> Let's jump right in. Let's do it. So last week at E3, we heard all about Nintendo's new upcoming console, the Wii U, but this week we got some bad news. That console is not going to come with DVD or Blu-ray support. What do you think about this? This isn't the first time Nintendo's done that. If you own a Wii, you probably know you can't actually play DVDs or Blu-rays in it now. We also know that licensing the technology to actually put a DVD and especially a Blu-ray drive in there is pretty expensive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and since the controller itself is going to have a touchscreen in it, we can imagine that that's going to be pretty expensive to manufacture. So I'm thinking this is A, all about cost, and B, about streaming media, because right now the Wii supports Netflix, so maybe they have something interesting up their sleeves around getting media to the console. Passengers flying on American Airlines might be getting a, uh, a shiny new toy to use during their in-flight for entertainment, a Galaxy Tab. 10.1, but here's the catch. You gotta fly first class. I mean, this is it. This is what people are going to be getting. 6,000 of them. On major routes, so from JFK to LA, or on international flights as well, yeah. although we don't know if it will be included in the cost of the ticket or if it will be an extra cost add-on. Barb's got the original OG Galaxy Tab, which came out last year. The Galaxy Tab Fat. First class tablet? And this is what you get in coach. Ooh, yikes. If you love shopping from home, you hate the crowds at retail, but you like to shop for clothes and you want to try things on, see how they actually look, yes. there's going to be a new service just for you called Connect Shop, which takes advantage of the Microsoft Xbox 360 Connect to let you actually try on clothing in a virtual environment and see what it looks like on you before you decide to buy. It's a motion tracking device. And so what you can do with Connect Shop is it will track your body movements and you can try on virtual items from different online stores. This is craziness. So this is being envisioned as a reinvention of the entire shopping experience. So they're also integrating it with other futuristic technologies like being able to actually pay for something with your phone or if you're in a store and you have to leave, you don't have time to finish your try-on session, you can scan a barcode. And ladies, this means that you can now ask your husband, do I look fat in this from the comfort of your very own living room? Revolutionary. The 2012 Olympic Games in London are already shaping up. And by shape up, we mean there's buildings already constructed, what? including the basketball stadium. But it's not just any basketball stadium. The special part about this stadium is it is almost entirely green and will be recycled once the games are over. Sustainability was one of the primary goals when they designed this because they built it from the ground up to mm -hmm. be dismantled and recycled. I think this is great. A lot of the pieces are actually, they don't need to be melted down. They can be used in other construction projects. Most of these buildings take, you know, a couple of years to build and they took 15 months and it, boom, up. One of the fastest on record. In the not such a good idea department, it was recently discovered that the most common iPhone password is one, two, three, four. We have to face palm this. Yeah. Oh. I think it's a double face palm. I kind of want to do this. The story behind this is, is there's an iOS developer and he made a security app that requires you to set a passcode for that particular app. And so anonymously he collected the data of all of the passcodes that were chosen. And over time the data was compiled and lo and behold, the password that most people used for their four digit pin was one, two, three, four. Some of the other commonly used codes were things like zero, 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 zero. Also a winner. One, 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 one. Mm -hmm. yep. A lot of years, birth dates. Think to yourself, would I choose this as my PIN number for my bank card? Because I think that's probably a good guideline. Well, unless your PIN number is one, two, three, four, in which case I will be coming to your house later tonight. Well, that's all the time we have for Tech Life this week on Tekka TV. On behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Eskeva. I'm Barb Dibwad. And that's been Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less. Mm -hmm.